I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The shortest, easiest definition of faith, and the most comforting one. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to higher things content. Spread our word. Spread the word. That helps us tremendously. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. And we need this gospel in these dark times. What's faith? When I was a young pup, even after I became Lutheran, I was petrified concerning believing. I heard that faith alone saved, but I wanted to know whether I had this stuff, whether I had this faith, where I had enough of this faith. And so um, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would worry about it. I would fret about it. I would pray for it. Lord, help me believe enough, have strong enough faith to be saved. I would look at my life and I would not see change enough. And then I would question the growth and the faith that I had. So what did I try to do? I tried to work, tried harder, to work harder, to believe more so that something would happen, so that I could find comfort. Working to believe more. That's like ground that it's trying to make itself better ground, less rocky, less um, weedy, and, 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 and more like the good dirt. And it sounds crazy, but you do it and I do it. What if we connect faith solely to Jesus? What if we stop talking about faith as a feeling that we have or something that makes us a better person or something that does more inside of us and we turn, turn our attention solely to the one who died and rose again for us, the one who is our faith? I would like you to, to, to find comfort today in a truth, a simple definition of faith that rescued me from all of this anxiety and fear concerning whether I had enough faith to be saved. And that was the simple definition that faith is receiving gifts from God. Or, as a, a pastor friend of mine in Sheboygan, Wisconsin says, believing is receiving. Believing, faith, is receiving from Jesus his salvation, his holy life, his bitter sufferings and death in the word, the water in his body and blood. Faith knows nothing other than its object and its subject. Faith begins and ends with Jesus. He's the Alpha and Omega of faith. And so rather than looking inside of yourself to see whether you have enough faith, strong enough faith, believe hard enough for God to love you and God to save you, repent of that. Repent of trying to figure out which kind of ground you are and instead, Receive the implanted word that is able to save. Faith is receiving gifts from God. It's receiving Jesus. It is, it, it, it is a hope of, 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 of his salvation, a trust that, that the world around you isn't the final word, that Jesus is the final word. It is receiving Calvary and Easter in his body and blood. And that's why faith's word, amen, um, is such comfort because it means gift received. It means, yeah, what you just said is true, God. The body of Christ given for you. I'll take that. Amen. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ died and Christ rose for you and Christ lives and you are saved by that. Amen. Faith isn't a work we do. It is the very righteousness by which we are accounted righteous before God. Faith is solely connected to and interchangeable with its, its subject and object, Jesus. And you make faith all about Jesus, or better, you let Jesus make faith all about him, then you'll find unending faith and comfort. No longer are you going to ask, do I believe enough to be saved? Have I convinced God enough to be saved? It's whether Jesus is enough to save me, whether Jesus died and rose again for me, whether Jesus lives and reigns to all eternity, and I'm going to live and reign in, in him. 
That's it. Believing is receiving. Faith is receiving gifts from God. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.